The construction projects at San Diego City College mean different things to different people. For some, they create traffic jams and noise. For others, they create jobs and represent the future of education. The timing of these projects has become a point of contention and misunderstanding. Many questions arise as to why so much is being created and so much money being spent at a time when classes are being cut, teachers are losing jobs, and prospective students are being turned away. To better understand what is happening and why and how, we need to go back to before the California state budget crisis. In 2002, Proposition S, a $685 million bond, was approved by San Diego County voters. It was clear then that the San Diego Community College District, that is City, Mesa, and Miramar Colleges, was in dire need of renovation, expansion, and a technology makeover. Four years later, the county voters spoke again, passing Proposition N, an $870 million bond. Now it was crystal clear. Affordable adult, college, and vocational education is highly valued to the tune of over one and a half billion dollars committed to its future. The bond funding is, is a voter initiative where the district had the wherewithal to say, we're gonna need to improve our campuses, to expand and, and provide newer facilities. So let's go to the voters and ask them to invest in San Diego Community College District. For City College, the propositions have already funded the Career Technology Center, or V Building, which houses the campus police and the cosmetology, nursing, and photography departments. When we take a look at a building in three dimensions and you add in all of the systems that go within the building, you can start to see where those systems intersect. So by building the design in three dimensions, you're able to really look at conflicts as a team, you can come up with a resolution, you know, before a shovel ever hits the ground. Saving a conflict like that in the design phase saves millions of dollars in the construction phase. The master schedule is carefully sequenced to minimize disruptions to the campuses. Schedules are closely monitored so that the projects will be completed on time, on budget, and on target for a community resource that has tremendous potential growth. The overall educational plan for the district, for City College, it's anticipated to reach the 17,000 student level. So while you see cuts and fewer students enrolled each semester during this economic downturn, we still continue with building because we told the voters we want to build for the future. Before construction began, each college in the district developed a facility master plan, ensuring that each campus's needs and goals would be met, and also to allow for future change. When we went into the initial master planning, we began to ask the instructors, what is it going to take in 2025 to help you do your jobs, to help you educate 17,000 students? The other part is, we have to understand how the district as a whole is going to maintain and operate the building. So maintenance plays a huge role in this as well. The Prop S and N projects are governed by strict laws regarding spending, including annual audits. But the true financial sustainability of the project is based on a mission to monitor costs and impacts over the life of the projects. We think of a building not from a, this is what it costs up front for construction, What's the cost of that building over its lifespan? We, we call it life cycle cost analysis. Buildings that are more efficient, they cost less to operate over the long term, and they cost less to maintain over the long term. As part of the district's green building policy, all new construction and renovation are designed to obtain the highest possible certification from the United States Green Building Council. Energy and water efficiency, optimal indoor environmental quality, and reduction of CO2 emissions are vital components of the construction planning. We don't use materials that give off noxious vapors. We don't use materials that, that are going to pollute the environment. We use green, sustainable materials. We have a recycling program for construction waste. We've reduced 
the emissions of CO2 by 3,500 metric tons a year. We've diverted 1,200 tons a year of recycled waste that would typically go into a landfill. When the state budget crisis is resolved, or at least eases up, and the fiscal stability and strength of the California Community Colleges returns, this district, this campus, will be ready. The students will come. The classes will return. The need will grow. And San Diego City College will be ready by building the future now.